Hi, this is Ron Wade again with IDT, and we are looking at the PCI Express Common Clock Jitter Transfer Model to see what information we can glean um, that's useful in our systems. This um, is the jitter transfer uh, model for PCI Express. It's the common clocked environment, which means that uh, we're assuming that the clock is common for both the transmit side and the receive side. Basically, you've got a transmitter PLL and a transmitter latch over here and this is given by uh, the, the jitter transfer of, of the transmitter is given by this equation called H1. And then you've got a, a receiver PLL, a clock and data recovery unit, and a receiver latch over on the receiver side. And the transfer function for uh, that is given by um, H2, along with an H3 for the clock and data recovery circuit. So we have H1, H2, and H3. And the transfer function is given by H1 uh, minus H2 uh, convolved with H3. So uh, you can do the calculations for the jitter transfer function at the latch here. And this has um, been used for Gen 2, Gen 3, and Gen 4, and, all the, and it's going to be used for Gen 5. And all that we've really done is, is change the equations and the, by changing the values of the uh, PLL parameters. Um, the equation will be slightly different for uh, different architectures such as SRIS or you know, SRNS or data clocked, but for common clocked uh, this is the equation you have to solve uh, to see if your, your clock is going to meet um, the appropriate specifications.